Highlights are cool. You can add outlines and fill colors to objects, and you can even make wall hacks and just show where something is for the player. Highlights are one of the best things Roblox gives us to improve our games. But there are a few downsides to highlights, and I'm going to be going over those, and I will leave it up to you guys to see if they are really worth it uh, to have them in your Roblox game. So let's go into how you can make an outline on an object without using highlights in Roblox Studio. One of the many ways you can do this is if you just have something in Blender, uh, so you can do this in Blender, you go down to this Materials tab down here, make a new material, I'm going to call it Outline, I'm going to set the surface to Emission, set the color to black because I want a black outline, I'm going to have Backface Cooling, Shadow Mode to None, I'm going to go to our modifiers, add a modifier, generate, solidify, and on our solidify, I'm going to go down to normals, flip, high quality, materials, offset, or material offset to 1. Nothing is happening yet, so we need to go to our material preview or thing up here. Uh, that is our, you know, like material viewer, and it kind of looks something like this. It has a fade. Uh, you can it's barely can even see it, but... I'm going to go to our thickness here, and if we set it to negative 0.04, it has a nice outline onto it, and I can make it bigger. That's just one of the many ways, uh, but that's how you can do it in Blender, One, you know, one of the many ways. And the first downside to highlights is that you can only have 31 highlights at a time uh, client side. If you go over the limit, then the other, you know, additional ones will just be ignored. Now, this is, I think, is because when you insert a highlight to an object, uh, there's the fill and there's also an outline. And if you can tell when I move, you can kind of see the outline on the object move to. You can see the pixels, how the outline is moving with the object and you can see the outline moving this you can probably tell can cause lag because your machine has to constantly update the pixels and calculate it so that the outline will be focused on the actual object because if you're moving around you can see the outline moving because as the object is getting smaller it has to calculate around it make it so it, it is still around the character even as we look around it and stuff like that now for fill color I'm actually not really sure I don't think it would be that bad for a performance or maybe it's like the outline uh, because when you get smaller then it still has to have that uh, shade over the model but uh, I'm actually not hundred percent sure and Roblox also gives us some performance tips with this highlight, and they say that adding or removing a highlight in your game can cause geometry, rebuilding, step, whatever that says, and I don't know, I'm not for sure if this is in studio, I assume this is like playtesting in the game, adding and removing highlights, uh, I'm, I assume that's in game, but they also, that, it says it leads to performance spikes and extra draw cells. So, let me say it's best to customize the highlights, I guess, maybe if it could be compatible with other systems too. Because if you were reading uh, the image on screen, uh, it says that just changing a property of the highlight uh, doesn't, is, doesn't have any performance impact and it says it's a lightweight. Roblox then goes on to say that uh, it draws objects in a back to front order that can cause problems if you embed objects with a child highlight inside other objects. So what Roblox is saying here is it could cause issues if you have a highlight in a rig and then also have a highlight in other children and uh, stuff like that it could cause issues. Um, so it's best to have those separate. It, um, like it says, it's best to keep the highlight outside of a parent-child relationship with other objects. Um, so keep multiple highlights that are in a child, 
parent relationship because it can cause issues. I don't think it says what the issues are, but it says just not to do it. So those are the performance tips Roblox gives us with, with the highlight object. And also Roblox gives us a section for highlights for low end devices like mobile. As I said earlier, outlines on the highlight can be heavy on performance if you have multiple. So on low end devices like mobile devices, outlines are not on uh, or outlines for highlight objects from a mobile perspective are not there because it can cause issues and for the fill color it is formed in a checker pattern to cut to like emulate the fill transparency property so as it gets more transparent there's like less of a checkered object like less fill I'll, I'll put it up on screen but on mobile devices when you have a highlight and say it's 0 0.3 transparency then it would probably be that maybe second third pattern there because it's so that it the highlight object also works for mobile devices because this is a big thing for performance and so this is another performance thing to make sure that low end lower end devices like mobile don't have any issues when having a highlight in your game because obviously a mobile device isn't going to be able to run so many highlights as good as a a pc so roblox has these performance tips and highlights for lower end devices and stuff like that to make sure that it can be ran on all devices and there's no performance issues so the highlight does have some downsides but overall it is really cool and it adds a fill color and an outline to whatever you put a highlight in right because highlights can go in any model right if we insert a highlight into this car it still has that outline and that fill color everywhere across the whole model it's a very very good object to make your roblox game better few downsides but it is still a really good object um and i'd recommend using it in your games but after looking at all these downsides it is up to you guys to decide if you should be using highlights in your game or not um depends on maybe if a certain system will work with highlights or not it's just all up to you guys if you should use highlights or another uh, modeling program to act like a highlight but that's all up to you guys if you use them or not but yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace